Biden and former President Trump came away from Super Tuesday with hundreds more delegates as both edge closer to clinching their party's nominations at their respective conventions. Former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley picked up a projected win in Vermont, though still not enough to put a dent in Trump's massive lead. I want to look here in North Carolina at our results. A much more decisive victory for Trump. This is a state, remember, he won twice in 2016 and 2020, though the margins of victory in 2016's primary were much closer than they were last night. North Carolina Republican voters, as you can see, are loyal to Trump. Nearly three in four Republican voters chose him. Haley did not win a single county, although she did do okay in Guilford and Mecklenburg counties. President Trump spoke at Mar-a-Lago last night saying he is ready to take on Democratic frontrunner Joe Biden. Our poll numbers are so much higher than Joe Biden's. He's the worst president in the history of our country. Well, on the Democrat side, President Joe Biden, the only presidential candidate on the ballot for the Democrats here, did obviously well with 87% of the vote. But interestingly, about 12% of North Carolina Democrats in total picked no preference, indicating some doubt or displeasure among voters about his candidacy. The president is undeterred and shifting focus to a likely general election rematch in 2020.